Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Thanks for showing up at the channel today. Right now, we are going to be continuing on in our little series on multiple units of measure. That would be where you are receiving from your vendor um, maybe a package or a case or uh, a large amount uh, of products from your vendor items and then maybe you break that down and you sell it out singly or in certain amounts, different measures. So you convert from the measure that you ordered in and you sell it in a different measure. For example, uh, your liquor store and you order 24 bottles in a case and then you sell each bottle by itself as a single or cigar store. 40 cigars in a box you ordered it that way but you open the box and you got it on the shelf and people come by and they buy one cigar at a time so you order by the box and you sell by the single or by the each so i left off last last time uh in the configuration before we jump into that don't forget to click on the link down in the description below to get over to our quickbooks point of sale facebook group where you can ask questions about uh, this subject or other subject don't forget to request videos if you'd like and I will do them on the channel and if you're on YouTube don't forget to hit subscribe so in the preferences and company area we left off on unit of measure and we had created a whole bunch of different units all sorts of miscellaneous ones if you're not using them you can remove them of course but we are gonna set up for my wonderful uh, school supply store or something like that and I have highlighters in a box and I have several boxes of these and these come 12 in a box but I order them from my vendor by the box and then I'm going to try and sell them by themselves singly so let's just real quick jump through the hoops to do that I'm gonna add a new item and we're gonna call it orange highlighter and whoops <clears throat> it's an inventory item uh, I'm just going to put it in accessories and so the vendor is gonna be eh, it doesn't really matter knives unlimited I buy my markers from knives unlimited alright so all right, let's see. The regular price is going to be 70 cents, I would say. Now, your base unit of measure, you're gonna choose a base unit of measure. That is going to be your lowest unit of measure. So all the other units of measure that you set up, which could be three or four or five of them, are going to be based on this. So every single other unit of measure such as a box is going to be made up of or comprised of the base unit of measure in this case we'll just sell them by the each right you could call that the single whatever's the lowest common denominator oh common denominator bringing me back to school days don't give me a headache all right i'm gonna hit the unit button there you notice and i'm gonna tell it that i usually order these by Oh, actually, we got to wait this top part. We can't we can't choose anything else until we set up the other units. Uh, I can say that I usually sell them by the each, but that's the only choice right now. Now, keep in mind that you can have a separate UPC and a separate ALU alternate lookup for each unit of measure. And that is pretty excellent because if you want to I don't know you can you can look them up separately and it'll bring them up by that unit now I'm gonna go to unit measure one uh, I can choose whatever I want this to be um, you know it has to make sense obviously but uh, most often your your next unit of measure is going to be the one that you order from your vendor in so in this case I order these orange highlighters by the box now very important how many base units are in this box well I just have to look at the box and I noticed that 12 is the number if I could type it in right alright so there are 12 each's in my box 
uh, I could maybe, you know, if you took this a step further, maybe all these boxes, maybe 24 boxes comes in a case. If that is how it is, then you would say unit of measure number three, or number two, excuse me, is a case, and it's the base units would be 12 times 24, whatever that is. Sorry, I don't know that off the top of my head, but that might be another unit of measure. So you could then sell them by the case, you could sell them by the box, of which there would be 12 in there, and you can sell them by the each. And so you want to set your box to also have a price. So if it was, let's see, if it was 70 cents, and so 70 cents times 12 is going to be $8.40, but maybe if people buy a box, they get a little discount. So maybe you're going to sell it for, you know, $7.99, right around $8 instead of doing the exact math. Because the more people buy, um, you know, the faster your product moves, and that's kind of what you want. You make a better profit on a bigger thing, but you do cut them a little deal. Hey, if you buy 12 of these in one box, you save 41 cents. Isn't that excellent? All right, and back up to the top here. Now that we've filled that in, we can say that I normally order by the box. Now it's going to pop up right away and ask me how much a box normally costs me from my vendor. So let's see, if I'm making, if I'm selling $7.99, I'm probably, and these numbers are, of course, I have no idea in real life. Uh, let's say I'm buying my, maybe I'm making some great money. Maybe I buy them for $2 from my vendor, buy the box, right? So there you have it. And everything's set. I can close this down and I can, I see everything is filled in here. I can go ahead and save it. And now we have set up the orange highlighter so that it has two units of measure and you can order by the box and you can sell by the each or you can sell by the box. Tune into our next video. I'm gonna show you how you can um, go ahead and order from your vendor and you can do that by the box and you'll understand a little better and then uh, further down the line, we will make some sales by either unit of measure. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit the like button down below. And you have yourself an excellent day. All right, bye-bye now.